Every year, the most elite basketball young players apply for the NBA draft. For the teams that are lucky enough to have lottery picks, they hope the new players will lead their franchise to a bright future and many championships. Some of these hyped up players like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or Kyrie Irving go on to do just that, and they have long, successful careers in the NBA. Other lottery picks don't do as well and are promptly referred to as busts for their disappointing play. Here are the NBA's biggest draft busts and where they are now. Let's start things off with Darko Milicic, a Serbian big man who was picked number two in the 2003 draft right after LeBron James. Milicic was picked ahead of Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade, three soon-to-be Hall of Famers. Coming into the 2003 season, fans and sports analysts thought Milicic had the talent and athleticism to compete with LeBron for Rookie of the Year and quickly become a dominant force in the NBA. Unfortunately, Milicic's play fell short. In 10 seasons in the NBA, Milicic scored just 6 points per game and averaged only 4 rebounds. In 2012, Milicic left the NBA to start a career in kickboxing. By 2017, he had given up on his martial arts career and began working on commercial apple farming. Today, Milicic has over 125 acres of apple trees in Serbia and exports to Dubai, Russia, and many countries in Africa. Milicic has been quoted as saying that the pressure from the NBA was just too much, and he enjoys his much more peaceful life as a farmer. Second on our list is Greg Oden, the number one overall pick from the 2007 draft. Greg Oden was drafted by the Portland Trailblazers and, like Milicic, was a promising big man. Oden never had the chance to get his career going, though, as he was plagued with knee injuries from the beginning. He had two unsuccessful seasons in the NBA before leaving. He rejoined the NBA in 2014 when he was picked up by the Miami Heat, but once again struggled, putting up only 2.9 points per game before leaving the league for good. Since 2014, Odin has been helping the Ohio State team that he had been playing on nearly a decade earlier, while studying to earn his degree at the same time. Odin had aspirations of becoming an NBA coach and even joined the Big Three League for a short while. Today, Odin has finished his degree in sports industry at Ohio State, is married with a child, and works for EduCore Sports and Entertainment as an athlete advisor. The third NBA draft bust on the list is a name you've likely heard of, Jay Williams. Williams was drafted by the Chicago Bulls as the second overall pick in the 2002 draft. Although he wasn't playing at an elite level, he showed promise in his rookie season and started a majority of his games. Unfortunately, Williams' dreams of a successful career fell apart in 2003 when he crashed his Yamaha motorcycle into a streetlight in Chicago. Williams wasn't wearing a helmet at the time and suffered multiple injuries, including a severed nerve in his leg, a fractured pelvis, and three torn ligaments in his knee, one of which was an ACL tear. Williams went to physical therapy but was unable to recover, and the Bulls waived his contract in 2004. In 2006, Williams tried to make a return to the NBA with the New Jersey Nets but was released before the start of the season. He then signed with the Austin Toros in the NBA Development League, but was once again waived after three games. Nowadays, you can see Williams on ESPN as a basketball analyst. He provides a unique perspective on the game and has covered both college basketball and NBA games for ESPN and CBS. Next on our list, we have Sam Bowie, who is drafted one pick ahead of Michael Jordan. Bowie, a 7'1 center from Kentucky, was picked second overall by the Portland Trail Blazers in 1984. Despite Bowie missing two full seasons in Kentucky due to leg injuries, the Trail Blazers still decided to take him over Jordan, Charles Barkley, and John Stockton. Bowie had a long career in the NBA and averaged a solid 10.9 points and 7.5 rebounds a game, but wasn't special, at least in comparison to some of the players that got drafted below him. Bowie retired in 1995 and has gone on to do commentary for college basketball, public speaking, and training horses for harness racing. The fifth lottery pick that turned out to be a bust is Hashim Thabit. Thabit was drafted second overall in 2009 by the Memphis Grizzlies. Early in his rookie season, he showed that he wasn't ready for the big leagues and got dropped to the Grizzlies Development League team. Soon after, Memphis traded the beat to the Houston Rockets, but things didn't get much better for him in Houston. 
He bounced around in the NBA, the G League, and overseas, but has not given up on his dream of joining the NBA. In 2022, 13 years after being drafted, he is still hoping to make a comeback to the NBA and is currently playing for the Fu Insurgents and the Chinese Basketball Association. We'll just have to wait and see to find out if the beat can ever get back into the NBA. Our next draft bust is another Memphis Grizzlies pick. Just four years before drafting Hashim Thabit, the Grizzlies drafted seven-footer Bryant Big Country Reeves as the sixth pick in the 2005 NBA draft. Big Country was a huge center, weighing between 275 and 300 pounds, was a star in Oklahoma State during his college career. But unfortunately, Reeves didn't have as much success in the NBA. Averaging just 12.5 points and 6.9 rebounds throughout his career, it was good, but the Grizzlies expected better. And when injuries started piling up, Reeves was forced to leave the NBA just six seasons after being drafted. Since that time, Big Country has starred in a documentary about his career called Finding Big Country. Reeves now lives in a small Oklahoma town and spends his time as a cattle rancher on his 300-acre farm. A college basketball star with multiple college awards, Danny Ferry was drafted by the Los Angeles Clippers as the second overall pick in the 1989 NBA draft before later being traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ferry had a decent career, and in his best season, he averaged 13.3 points per game, but never lived up to his draft day hype. In 2002, Ferry played off the bench for the San Antonio Spurs when the team won a championship in the 2002-2003 season. Shortly after, Ferry retired and joined the front office for the Spurs before signing a $10 million deal to be a general manager for the Cleveland Cavaliers. During his tenure, the Cavaliers drafted LeBron James and the team did well, making deep playoff runs with LeBron, Mo Williams, Shaquille O'Neal, and Anthony Parker, all playing for the Cavs during Ferry's time with the team. The Cavs were a successful team and for back-to-back -back seasons had the best record in the NBA, but Ferry agreed to leave the team in 2010. Controversy followed the years after when Ferry signed on with the Atlanta Hawks as president of basketball operations and general manager. Ferry recited a racist comment that was written in a scouting report and was asked to resign from his position. After a thorough independent investigation, it was found that Ferry's reciting of the comment, as well as his decisions as general manager, were not motivated by racism, and there was no evidence to suggest that Ferry was racist. The ninth NBA bust on our list is the Sacramento Kings' Purvis Ellison. Ellison was drafted first overall by the Kings in the 1989 draft. Ellison was a 6'9 center, and the bottom-tier Kings team thought he was the one who could help the team contend for playoffs. Sadly, Ellison didn't live up to their expectations, averaging just 9.5 points and 6.7 rebounds per game during his 11-season career. Ellison also struggled with injuries throughout his career, including knee problems that benched him for 59 games from 1992 to 1994. Ellison went on to coach for the Life Center Academy in Burlington, New Jersey. Rounding out our list is a player that many hoped would be the next Michael Jordan. Kwame Brown was first picked overall by the Washington Wizards in the 2001 draft. He was the first player in history to go straight from high school to the NBA. It is even reported that Michael Jordan, who was playing for the Wizards at the time, personally asked that the team pick Brown. Unfortunately, Brown's play left much to be desired. Brown was known around the league to be immature and averaged only 4.5 points per game in his rookie season. There is even a rumor that during one practice, Michael Jordan made Brown cry. He was a poor free throw shooter, shooting 57% from the line over his career and would get into arguments with his teammates. One such argument was with Wizard star Gilbert Arenas. Despite his poor play, Brown said he deserved a bigger role on the team and was upset at Arenas for trying to take up the spotlight. Brown was traded to the Lakers and, disappointingly, didn't play any better in Los Angeles. He was ridiculed for not being disciplined or passionate about the game and mocked for having small hands. Fans would boo Brown every time that he stepped onto the court, and eventually he was traded once again, this time to the Memphis Grizzlies in exchange for Pau Gasol. Brown's struggles continued in Memphis, and the next season he went to the Detroit Pistons. Some fans and analysts were hopeful about the trade, arguing that joining a small market team would put Brown away from the spotlight and allow him to grow as a player. 
Unfortunately, Brown's career was filled with injuries and he did not get any better in Detroit. In fact, he played worse. In 2013, after a right hamstring injury, Brown was waived and would not play in the NBA again. In 2012, Brown came back to the public's view when he made several YouTube videos arguing against the idea that he was a bust. He gained a lot of media attention for his comments, saying that the news coverage of his play negatively affected him. And with that, we finish our list of the NBA's biggest busts and where they are now. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments section who you think is living the best post-NBA life. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for another video.